I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Peace of Christ to all of you. Muhammad, he's pagan. He is not Abrahamic. His tribe are pagan. And he do not know what Gabriel, who he is. We just heard this Abdul saying that clearly. So always take into your consideration that all the Mohammedan who lie to you and they say Muhammad was Abrahamic, that is a lie. Muhammad never was Abrahamic. If you hear someone he claimed to be Christian priest, doesn't matter what the church is, because we hear those idiots in all churches saying that Islam is an Abrahamic religion. Those are ignorant, idiot priests. Again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. He did not know who was Abra, uh, uh, Gabriel is. So what he know exactly? Because he is coming from pagan family. He don't even know who is Gabriel. I mean, this is something a little child. He is a Jew. He knew that. Muhammad is 40 years old. He does not, he do not, he never heard of Gabriel. And we just heard that from the Muslim. So when you have an idiot in your church teaching you, they teach you many mistakes in your churches. Number one mistake, big mistake, that Muslims are Ishmaelist, from Ishmael. That is a big fat lie. And the priest who says that, 99%, he did not even read the Bible carefully. All of us, we knew that Hajar, the wife of Abraham, she is an Egyptian, and she married her son Ishmael to an Egyptian woman. And the Bible says that clearly. And this is long before Islam is exist. So if the Muslim will say the Jews change it, that would be stupid to say. A book written, you know, thousands of years before Muhammad even came to existence, uh, that that would be funny to say they change it to make Islam look bad. So we have people who say stupid things from both sides, the Christian churches and Muhammadan. But Muhammadan, they say stupid things because their God is stupid and their prophet is more stupid than his God. And today we are going to show you that with the clear evidence. The first question we ask ourselves, if you ask a Muslim, who is the one who created everything? What the Muslim will say? Do we have any Muslim in the chat? Before I go live, there was a guy, his name is Yusuf. And Yusuf, he was saying to the people here, don't listen to Christian Prince. I said to Yusuf, well, Yusuf, can you tell us about your God, the amazing one you keep texting about? how he described for us the women vagina in heaven. I mean, this God is so holy to the point he have interest to describe that the vagina of the women who we will have because we worship him and we kill our neighbors, they have a vagina never been touched, still have walks in it. The plastic still there. That is God. But the God of Islam have bigger poo, -poo than this. Ask any Muslim, who is the one who created Jesus? They will say to you, Allah. Okay. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm very sure. Hmm. That's not true. According to Islam, the one who created Jesus is the angel Gabriel. So this is number one lie when the Muslim they say to you that Jesus was created by Allah. According to their stupid prophet, the one who created Jesus is Jibreel. Jibreel is the one who breathed into Mary and made her have a son. It's not Allah according to the Muslims. If there is any Muhammadan here in the chat who don't agree with me, call me and get me busted. 
So this is mistake number one. Mistake number one, not only it's a mistake about Jesus, it's a mistake about the identity of Islam. On one hand, they claim that Allah, the creator of everything, and Jesus himself was created by Allah. And then the second we start reading their stupid religion, we will find that the one who created Jesus, according to Islam, is an angel. And that will take me to see how much Islam and Jehovah's Witnesses are too much into similarity. You might say, I mean, where we can find this? Very easy. You can go right now, type how Jesus created, how Prophet Isa was created. And you will find this answer. This is a website run by Qatar. How Isa, peace be upon him, and even the, I don't want to mention now that Muhammad is so stupid at the point he mixed between names. Uh, Isa, who is Isa? We never heard in the Middle East about Isa. Some they say to you, maybe he took it from the Greek language like Asos, but no. You see, in Arabic, in Arabic, it is Isa. Ah, ah, ah. So don't, don't fool yourself with the letter E. This E does not exist. This is because you don't have the equal letters in, in the Quran. So don't go there. So Muhammad had the wrong name of Yeshua. In Arabic, we call him Yeshua. Nobody called him Isa. What Isa? Who's Isa? And actually, if you ask them what Isa mean, you will die laughing. What Isa mean, Muslims? I mean, the name should be fit with the person. Okay, what Isa mean? You go to the dictionary, you will die laughing at the meaning that you have there. Isa, in the, in the dictionary of the Arabic dictionary, is a camel. So he's a prophet Kamal, peace be upon him. And then the question is, can you tell me how Nabi Prophet Isa was created in relation to his conception? All right. This is a Muslim asking Muslim, not me. Answer. Praise be to Allah. Okay. Allah explained that the Ruh reached her womb. As Allah says, the interpretation of the meaning, and Maryam, Mary, the daughter of Amran. This is another mistake. Mary is the daughter of Amran. Stupid Muhammad, you do not even know who is Mary's father who guarded her chastity, and we breathe into her sleeves. By the way, this is fabrication. There's nowhere in the Quran that says sleeves. But here you will see something very funny. Here, uh, her shirt, uh, sh a shirt or garment, through our ruh, i.e. Jibreel. Who is the one who breathed into Mary? Jibreel. It's not Allah. This is what they say. In fact, they go even farther with their stupidity. And they claim that when Allah sent Jibreel, and Jibreel he breathed into Mary, Jibreel he made Mary horny. And Allah created inside Mary, stored inside her semen. And when he breathed into her, he moved her sexual desire. Therefore, she have a conception with Jesus. Can you believe how stupid this religion is?
Muhammad is a thief. He stole the story from the Christians. He had his own spices. And now the Muslims, they start adding as Muhammad adding whatever they wish. When you ask a Muhammadan, where in the Quran it says that Jibreel he did that? You see all those things you see here? It's not in the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran it's mentioned the story of Jibreel about breathing to Mary. Nowhere. In Arabic it says our spirit. We breathe into her from our spirit. Nowhere in the Quran it says her shirt. In Arabic it says her vagina. I mean, look in the word, how the word vagina became sleeves, shirt, t-shirt, pocket. Every single Muslim knows that purge. In fact, it says, Ahsanat Farajaha, she protected her vagina. The Muslim, they lie in the translation, they say she protected, protected her chastity, trying to make the language no, more noble. But this is not what it says in Arabic. It says she guarded her vagina. What a chastity. So you will find that every single statement, every single word in the Quran, is manipulated by the Muslims, change the meaning and the translation. So the word verge, which means vagina for the female, become chastity. And it says, and we breathe into it, the vagina. Suddenly it says, we breathe into her sleeves. And why they do that? Because it's just funny. The Christian, they start laughing at this God who go and breathe into vaginas. When you read the Islamic interpretation for this verse, you will find every idiot of them give you a different interpretation. Every single idiot. Why? Because every single idiot of them trying to fix the stupidity of this verse. It is something they stole from the Christians. And now they have to give it a new clothing. The story have to come with a new clothing. And then if you go and you check from the beginning, you will see that Mary, the daughter of Amran. But Amran is the father of Moses. I mean, every single word in this Quran is stupid. The stupid Muhammad, he heard that Moses and Aaron, they have a sister, her name is Maryam. So he made a verse in the Quran saying that she is the sister of Aaron. When a Jewish rabbi came to the house of Muhammad, he found Aisha alone at home. Too bad. I wish he found Muhammad so we can love more. He told Aisha, but it cannot be. 
For as I know, there is hundreds of years, which is even this guy is wrong. I mean, what hundred? Only hundred of years. Between Isa or Aka Isa, supposedly the supposedly Jesus. And Mary, the mother of the sister of Aaron. Aisha, she said, You are a liar. Kadept. Which means this is what the Muslims understood, and this is what Muhammad is saying. Now remember, Muhammad, he said to the Muslims, Take your religion from Aisha, because she is the one who memorized what he's saying. When Aisha, she said to him, Kadept, you are a liar. And he is the one who is correcting her false prophet husband came back home. And she told him what the rabbi said, claiming that you have a mistake. Now, Muhammad, you have to fix it. When she accused him that he is a liar, the man, he got scared. Then he said to her, well, mother of the believers, prophet knows best. The prophet knows best. Let us see if we can find the hadith in English. Give me a second. Well, we could not find it in the English website here. So let us see. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. I will post the link for you. You can use Google Translation. A big rabbi, his name Kabul Ahbar. Kabul Ahmar Ahbar mean he is like the highest between the rabbis. He came to Aisha and he said, Mary is not the sister of Aaron, the brother of Moses. Aisha, she said, Kadept, you are a liar. He said, Okay, mother of the believers. Allah messengers, he tell better, and he is a truthful. But as I know, there is more than 600 years between them. And then Aisha, she went silence. This hadith here in Sahih Muslim, so we should be able to find him, find it in the English translation. Let us see. Maybe we can get luckier. Strange, we cannot find it here. But this is, it says, in Sahih Muslim. Let us see here. Uh, uh, there is a hadith where Muhammad, he tried to fix it. But look how Muhammad, he answer the stupid mistake. He claimed that they used to call them by the names of their previous prophet. What the names of their prophet? Uh, Mary, her name is Mary. What called them by the names of their prophets? And who is a greater prophet, Moses or Aaron? When I came to Najran, they, the Christian of Najran, asked me, you read, O sister of Aaron. So the Christian, they start making fun of Muhammad, as you see. O oh, sister of Aaron, between two brackets, he meant Maryam. 
in the Quran where this Musa was born much before Jesus. When I came back to Allah Messenger, I asked him about that, whereupon he said, People of old age used to give names to their person after the names of their apostle. Okay, name one for me. We have the whole Quran. Any Muslim? As long as it's the case, well, that means all the generation before they say that. Same time, Mary, she cannot be called the sister of Aaron. Not only she is not from the same tribe, not only Aaron is not the massive, actually Aaron is not even, a, in the Bible there's a bad stories about him, you know. Why she would be called the sister of Aaron? Is that because he, uh, uh, he accepted the Jews to worship idols? So this is the best of them? Same time, Mary, not only she is not from the tribe of Aaron, Mary, she is not exist in the time of Aaron. You know, like if I say, uh, a statement of respect, And I'm talking about my grand, 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 grandfather, because remember, those are Jews supposedly, according to Muhammad, their ancestors, you know, like the names of their person, the name of the apostle, but those are what? Still, they are ancestors. And now Muhammad, he knew that this story is stupid and he have misunderstood the story of Jesus. So now he want to fix it. But Mary, even if you want to say such a thing, they should say, oh, daughter of... As an example, the Jews, even the Christians in the Bible describing, they will not say Mary, she is the sister of David. They will not say Jesus is the, is the brother of David. They will say by birth, he's a son of David. Because you are not the sister of somebody he is supposed to be your grandfather. And in this case, grand, 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 grand. Well, you can imagine how many grandfather. So how she is a sister of them? Sister is something about timing, and we are existing the same time, and we are equal. So I say to you, my brother, even we as a Christians, we call the church apostles and the ones who were in the beginning we call them the church fathers we don't call them brothers why because we show respect to them i'm not like paul i'm not like peter those are the chosen ones by the lord So the stupid Muhammad, you do not know who is Mary, who is her father, and not only that. If you go in the Quran, you will see how the story gets more stupid and more complicated. If we read together, in the Quran, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was a nun. She was what? She was a nun. She don't meet people. She don't talk to people. She lived in the temple. And the Lord, in this case, supposedly Allah, he give her food. If we go in the stupid Quran, we will find this.
<laughs> Before actually we go to, uh, uh, we, we will talk about Zechariah too, because Zechariah, uh, uh, each time he enter upon her in chapter three, verse number thirty-seven, because now she is a nun, you know, Mary is a nun. Each time he enter upon her, in the temple, which the women are not allowed actually to be even there, and not only in the temple, in the mihrab, you know mihrab. The Muslim they copy that name from the from the from the Jews. There is like a the the like uh, 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 let us say the holiness of holiness room, like that which where nobody only priest can go inside. And this is where Mary, she lived, which is an insult to the temple. Because even man cannot live there. No man, no woman, nobody. Because when you say you live there, and you don't go out, that means you eat there, you do all your things there. You get naked there. And don't tell me that Mary don't take shower. And this is the temple of God. So now Mary, she is secluded in the mihrab. And each time she don't see people, nobody see her. Each time Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, come to visit her, he found her room full of food. He never brought her food. If we ask the Muhammad and where this story is coming from, no answer. Number two, why? Why Allah? Providing Mary with food. I mean, what happened exactly? Mary in the Quran, she is the daughter of Amran. Okay, the verse before it says that. So she have a family. Her mother, before she gave birth to her, she said she is going to dictate the child she will conceive to the Lord. Do you see it? Chapter 3, verse number 35. Some they might say, so what the problem? There's a big problem. The stupid Muhammad in different verse in the Quran, he claimed that being a monk or a nun is a big fabrication. It is not from God. I mean, can you imagine how stupid this man is? How being a monk or a nun, which means not getting married, just to serve the Lord, is a fabrication. And now you are saying to us that Mary, she was a nun. In chapter 57, verse number 27, it says, We sent to them our messenger, and we sent the Isa, between two brackets, Jesus, the son of Maryam, and we gave him the Injil. And this is a different story. We'll talk about the contradiction here. And we ordained in the heart of those who follow him compassion and mercy. But, you know, those, you know, those people, they invented something called being a monk or being an, a nun. It's an, it's, it's an innovation. It is a fabrication. It is not from the God. But then in the other verse, It says that Mary, mother, she decided that her daughter, she will be a nun. And this nun, she don't leave her room. 
or what she do, she just to pray to the Lord. It's in the front of you. And then we jump to another error. Mary, the daughter of Amron. When Muhammad, he tried to fix the issue of Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, eh, the Muslim get happy, but not for long. Because guess what happened? Mary in the Quran too is the daughter of Amran and Amran is the father of Aaron. So Muhammad, maybe he was able to fix it there because somebody warned him, hey, Abdul, listen, Mary is not the sister of Aaron. Now, how we can fix this one? Mary, the daughter of Amran. How many mistakes we counted already? Five, six, seven, eight. But guess what? We have even more horrible mistakes. In the Quran, it says that Mary, Satan cannot touch her. And Mary and her, her offspring, according to the story, Allah granted Mary mother a promise. Mary is a special and her offspring stating cannot touch two. So now we have two a human being, according to Islam, Mary and the Isa. Satan cannot touch them. What would that will make out of Mary? Any Muslim can tell me? In the Hadith, Muhammad, he said, that Shaitan, he touched every, every son of an Adam. Except two. The Messiah and his mother. And now we will know why. I mean, it must be there is a reason. The Muslim, they say that their God is so intelligent. He don't do things without reasoning. So why Allah will allow shaitan to touch all of us, including Muhammad? But he cannot do that to Mary and her son. Isn't it, this is a contradiction for the Quran speaking that every human being is under the influence of shaitan. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. When you say he cannot touch them, that means sin cannot affect them. Sin cannot affect Jesus, neither Mary. Now, Every son of an Adam is a sinner, Muhammad said. And the best of you is the one who repent. Jesus, he do not need to repent. Neither Mary, according to Islam. What does that mean? Well, that means Jesus is perfect. That means Jesus is God. That means Jesus is holy. The angels in Islam, they bow down to Adam, which means in Islam, even angels, they commit sin when they accuse Adam of mischievement, 
which is true by the way, but the stupid Allah story saying he punished them because they accuse and he accused them to be liars. He said to them, give me your proofs. Tell me those names if you are truthful, which means they are not truthful. In the front of you, you see, all the sons of Adam are sinners. All the sons of Adam. Now we will show you the one which is Sahih, not the one which is Da'i, because you know the Muslims. Well, we just showed you that Jesus and Mary, they are not sinners. Because this is what Satan, he does when he touches you, simply he transmits sin to you. He got into you. So you cannot touch Jesus. You cannot touch Mary. And this is why it is every human being, every child when he is born, Satan touch it when it is born. And Muhammad trying to explain why the child is crying, which is very stupid. Because of being touched by Shaitan, except Mary and her son. So what we have now, we have a clear announcement announcement from the stupid Muhammad saying some of the truth that Jesus is holy and Mary is a special but here by the way he is making both of them are holy because Mary she is pure and obviously she is that's why she is chosen by God but then we need to ask ourselves why every son of a human being? Here we go, Muhammad. You Muslims, you can seek refuge by Allah from shaitan, but still shaitan touch your sons. If you seek refuge by Allah, and then Allah will grant everybody, or this is a special grant to Mary, they will say to you to a special grant. So Mary is a special, Messiah is a special, and now we have two a human being, they never commit sin. And now we have an exception for what Muhammad said. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Is that why Jesus is not the son of Adam? Another stupid mistake in the story about Mary and Jesus. You see the chapter called Ali Amran. Why? Because the Edith Muhammad, he think that all those family is a one family. Musa's, Aaron, Zechariah, Mary, everybody is one family. When you go back and you read the story about Zechariah, Zechariah invoked the Lord asking him to grant him an offspring. And this is, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad obviously is taking some of the verses from, uh, from the book of Luke, chapter 1. You can go and read. And you will see how Muhammad, as usual, I mean, he says he had his own spice and stupid things he had make him look so stupid. The angels came to Zechariah. And the angels told him, we have a great news for you. You will have a son. Zechariah said, oh my Lord, how can I have a son when I am very old and my wife is born? So don't you know that when you made this prayer here? I, knew, I mean, you know, 
already that you are old and your wife, she can't have children. And you ask for a spring. And now when they answer you, you say, how? Then something horrible in the Quran, proving again the Trinity. The angel they spoke to Zechariah, suddenly Zechariah speaking to the Lord, questioning the Lord. And then he said, Oh my Lord, make a sign for me. What is the sign? The sign of Allah, I will make you unable to speak to mankind for three days. Why three days? I challenge any Muslim to tell me why three days. Is that because in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? I mean, isn't it enough to make the guy as unable to speak for half um, half hour? Well, one minute. If I am now in front of you and I said to you, okay, try to speak. Try. You tried. You could not. That's it. I prove it. Right? Why three days? Muslims cannot answer that. Muhammad is a very much a person of the Trinity. All the religion is about the Trinity. Not only that. Zechariah did not speak for three days. What about Mary? Let us see. The story is getting more funny. And the Trinity is all over the place. If we type the word three days in the Quran, we will find it all over. Chapter 2, verse 196. In chapter 3, verse number 41, we mentioned that already. And all those verses mention fasting three days. Uh, 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 and this is about the story of the camel, three days. So all, all over the Quran, there's a three days. What about Mary? Remember, the Quran says it clearly that those who say that Allah is one of a three or he is the third of a three, those are kuffar, non-believers. When the Messiah sent messengers, he sent the three messengers. Why three? In the Quran, we do not know. Why three? Nobody knows. Same stories appear everywhere. Look at this verse. This is a verse Muhammad trying to speak about the Christians. But he could not answer anything. We will go back to this one later. When you try to find what is beyond the number three, if a woman she have been divorced, she have to wait for three months. And that is a big mistake in Islam. Because why three is the number of perfection? If Allah, Allah is one. Allah is one, they say. So what is this three days for? 
When the Jews came to Mary, and they told her, where you got this from? If you go to chapter 19, you will see something very funny. Mary, she was supposedly in the holy room in the temple, in secluded by herself. Suddenly, Mary, she leaves the temple. Why she want to give birth? Why she want to do that? Why somebody have a private room and God provide her, according to the Quran, with food and water and drink? Why she need to go to a secluded area? I mean, what more secluded than this room? Nobody enter. Mary, she go, and she found the palm date tree. Let us find the verse. Mary, who is protected by Allah, provide her food and drink and shelter. Now suddenly she is homeless. And here you will notice that the story does not make sense. Why? Because how you just say to us in the other verses that now Mary, she is in the temple and the angels, they came to her in the temple. And now suddenly, as soon as she conceived, she is in the desert. Was she in the temple or she was in the desert? So she conceived him and she retired with him to a remote place. Pains came to her when she is under a palm tree. Allah told her, shake the palm tree. The Muslim, by the way, are confused who is the one who's talking. A voice suddenly coming from underneath of her. Is that Jesus? Jesus is not born yet, he is talking. Who is the one who is talking? Every Muslim will give you a different interpretation. A voice cried to her from beneath. The Muslim here says, the palm tree, that's false. It says, min tahtiha, that is Mary, not the palm tree. Don't be sad. The Lord will provide you. What will, how will he provide? Shake toward yourself the trunk of the palm tree. Have you ever heard of a woman? She can shake a palm tree. Have you even heard of 10 men can shake a palm tree? Go try it. Just go try it. 20 men holding the trunk from the height of their body and they are shaking the palm tree. And now this woman, she is giving birth, and now it is time to shake the palm tree. But she is giving birth, why she want to eat now? I mean, now she decides to eat? And why Allah don't make the tree shake and give her, you know, make the palm tree fruit fail on her? Shower her. And then he said to her, eat and drink. And if any man spoke to you, don't talk. Tell them, I am fasting. And here the story of Aaron appear.
So what we learn from the story about Jesus until now? That the one who created Jesus, it was Jibreel. Allah is not the creator. For the one who breathed into Mary, according to the Muhammadan, is Jibreel as you see. Allah explained that the Ruh reached her womb. As Allah says, interpretation of the meaning. And Maryam married the daughter of Amran, which is a wrong name, who guarded her vagina, not her chastity. And we breathe into her vagina, not her sleeves. Through our Ruh Jibreel. Nowhere it says that in the Quran. All of this is a fabrication. All of it. Same time, when a Muslim they say that Allah he breathed into Mary through Jibreel, what does that mean? How in the Quran it says we breathe into her and then you Muslim you say it is Jibreel. You see when the Muhammadan they say to me you are taking things out of context. In fact, I did not see anyone taking things out of context as the Muslims. The Quran says something, the Muslim they say something else. Did Allah say in the Quran that Jibreel he breathed into her? No. So all of us we knew that this story repeated many times that God he breathed and this is how he create. The story of Jesus saying that Jesus he breathed into the mud and he made a bird. The story of Adam, the Quran says that Allah he breathed into Adam and this is how Adam come to life. He made the mud, he breathed into the fashioned mud and the breath simply is the spirit. But you will notice here it says, I breathe into him of my spirit. We don't see Muslim saying Jibreel here. Do you see Jibreel? No? Okay. Let us go to the story about Jesus then. If there is anywhere it says such a thing. Did the Quran really say that Allah he breathed into Mary by Jibreel? No. Nowhere. Muslims, they add things in the Quran, manipulating their own books. The word purge all over the Quran speak about what? Vagina. Vagina. Yahfudu furujahum. Furujahun. Purge is either a private part for the male. The second you may be speaking about a female, it's a vagina. As simple as that. Chapter 33, verse number 35, etc. In the story of Maryam, in chapter 66, وَمَرْيَمُ وَإِبْنَةُ وَأَمْرَانَ أَمْرَانَ أَلَتِي أَحْصَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا We breathe into it from our spirit. Where is Jibreel? Same time, if it says from our spirit, are you saying to me that Allah is borrowing from Jibreel's spirit? And how it is our spirit, if it is Jibreel, is Jibreel a spirit? When you see a Muhammadan reading the Quran, you will see how many brackets are created for all those things is a fabrication, never exists in the Quran. And we can prove in two seconds that Jibreel cannot be a spirit. Why? Because in different verse in the Quran says that in the day of judgment, 
the angels and the spirits were lined up in ranks. If Jibreel is a spirit, well, he is an angel anyway. So why you are saying and the spirit? Do we have any Muhammadan have an objection? Somebody says, do you find them before his dream? Actually, I was not planning to go, but I decided to go suddenly. Otherwise, I'm not, I don't prepare for what I, what I will go. I, I just uh, opened my uh, uh, YouTube and I saw a video of Mufti Mink. I decided to make a video about it. Now let us go to Mufti Mink video, so we can love more. You remind me of the reason actually I started this topic today. Mufti Mink. So Allah says, Here you will see the Muslim, they try always to sing the Quran, to make the Quran some, some, sound something like valuable, but the singing it doesn't make it valuable, it's stupid. O Muhammad this is the news and the information of the unseen that we are giving you. We are telling you the true version of the story of Mary and Jesus and Zachariah and John and so of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember, Allah now decided to tell Muhammad the true story of Jesus and Mary and Zachariah. This is the unseen. This is the true story. Because they claim that the story is corrupt. But if you go in the stupid Quran, you will find the Quran confirming the book with us 600 years after Jesus. Just to show you how, how, how the Muslims themselves are disconnected from their God and their book. We have tons of verses. Chapter 2, verse 91. Chapter 2, verse 89. Uh, chapter... 2101 uh, chapter 2 verse 213 I mean it's endless all of those is speaking about our book which is confirmed to be truthful 600 years after Jesus so how Muhammad Allah now suddenly want to tell him the truth when the stupid Quran confirming what is in their possession and as you see this is the Muhammadan translation Do you see it? How in their videos they say that our Bible is corrupt and then the stupid Quran confirm what is in our position, which means whatever it is. What is our position as a Christians? The Old Testament and the New Testament. Same we see just two verses after. And when it say to them, to believe in which Allah has revealed, say, we believe in which was revealed into us, and they disbelieve. Okay, and, and, confirming that which they possess. Do you see it? Do you see it? So a Muslim come to you says your Bible is corrupt. By the way, this is not my Bible. You stupid donkey. I mean, if even your Allah says He is the one who sent the Bible. So are you saying to me that your God could not protect His book? That is a clear reason, actually, not to believe in Allah. For if Allah is a true God, He will never allow anyone in the world to be able to corrupt His book. So what the Muslim is saying to us, loud and clear, their God is a potato. Anyone can give him a screwdriver, change his book. What they are saying to us, their God could not protect his book. The second a Muslim, he says to you, the Bible is corrupt, say to him, are you talking about the Injil sent by Allah is gone? When you say that to him, he will put his head between his tail and he will run away. 
Don't defend, don't say to him, no, no, no. Say, oh, okay, the Bible of Allah is a change. Allah could not change it. You know, you Christian do not know how to debate. Most of you, what do you do? You right away start giving him reference. We have a lot of manuscript. Why do you want to do that? Give him a screwdriver. He just gave you a screwdriver to screw him with it. Tell him, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> You are saying to me that Allah, he sent a book, <laughs> and then he could not protect his book. So, did they corrupt the book by the will of Allah or against the will of Allah? If he say this is against the will of Allah, that means Allah is a potato. If he say this is by the will of Allah, that means Allah is the one who corrupted. Knights, what is the Islamic reference for Jacob is westroding? Knight, do you have a problem, my friend? I mean, the name Israel in the Quran is the reference. What does Israel mean? <laughs> I mean, why people don't use their brain? Christian Prince, what is the reference of uh, uh, in Islam that uh, 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 Jacob is whispering with God? What Israel, the name Israel. The second the stupid Muhammad, he caught the name Israel. He put it in his Quran. He just caught the story. So each time you search in the stupid Quran, you will see the name Israel. Muhammad, he confirmed what happened between Jacob and God. Because Jacob, his name is Jacob. His name is not Israel. I mean, why people don't use their brain? How many times the word Israel appear in the Quran? Tons of time, which means each time Muhammad, he mentioned it, he is just the, the, the dad, the stupid the dad, he was making fun of the story. But you stupid the dad, you see, the, the, the Muslim, they debate people who do not know how to debate. If the dad is debating me, I will wipe the floor with him. He said, said Abdul, so what God, he called him Israel. What Israel mean in Hebrew? So they are laughing at the story, but look, the Quran keeps saying Israel, 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 Israel. This is why, my friend, we laugh at, the, at Muhammad and his religion, if we can call it even a religion. Today, we don't have too many viewers. We have almost a thousand. Yeah, usually, we have way more, but we are late. But, you know, this is a way we can get people from Indonesia, uh, Philippines, uh, uh, Asia, Korea, whatever countries to join us. Anyone have a question? Any Muslim, he don't agree with me? Who is a Muslim here there to call me right now and choose any of those to show me that I am mistaken? So the stupid Quran confirm our book. The Muslim, they say to us repeatedly, oh, well, the Bible is corrupt, the Bible is corrupt. Okay. The Quran saying confirm that which they possess and this is in the time of Muhammad which means 600 years after Christ still the Bible never been changed and this is confirmed in your stupid book this is in the book of donkeys you know there is a verse in the Quran described the Muslim very well for me it says that the similarity between the donkey and those people is both of them they carry books but they cannot understand or read and those are the muslims they carry books in their book it says confirming what is in their possess and when the muslim they translate this they say to you no 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 confirming only what is true abdul it says confirming what is in their possession he did not say some i mean you are you saying to me you're a stupid god do not know arabic now so now you have to add the word some the three some religion if allah did not say some then there is no some the muslim to fix it they have to add some The Quran speak clearly about people like Muhammad. Is as the likeness of donkeys carry huge burden of books. That is Muhammad and whoever believe in him. A bunch of donkeys carrying 
huge burden of books. They cannot read it. They cannot understand it. They cannot explain it unless they add the bracket and a lot of words is not there. So suddenly Jibreel is a spirit. He is not even a spirit. He is the Holy Spirit. But according to the Quran, angels are not holy. Stupid Abdul. According to the Quran, Jibreel can create. Allah is creating Jesus by Jibreel. According to them, they're writing, not my writing. The Quran does not say, by the way, that. The Quran says, we breathe from our, our spirit. The Muslim, they are confused. Okay, Allah does not have a spirit. So who is the spirit? Let us look for Jibreel. Muhammad, he could not even find one source in his book to say and to back up that the Holy Spirit is the same as a person. His name is Jibreel. When Allah, he ordered Adam, ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, well, Jibreel is one of the angels. He has to bow down too. So the Holy Spirit will bow down to the sinner, Adam. Hmm? Any Abdul? I see Abdul accusing me of lying. Why you don't call me my friend? Let's see who's lying. And you know, this, the Quran is full of stupid stories. It's not even good for a six years old kid to listen to it. Look, the angels, they accuse Adam with doom achievement. Allah accused the angels to be a bunch of liars. Do you see it? He said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. What the opposite of a truthful people? Tell me. Can you tell me please? Muhammad, can you help me? What is the opposite of a truthful? Huh? When Allah He said to the angels, and that means Jibreel is one of them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So if they could not tell the names, that means they are not truthful. So your stupid Quran accused the angels to be a bunch of liars, and now you are saying to me that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. How he is holy and he is not truthful. Do you see why we laugh at the yellow pages of Muhammad? A donkey, a savage person, a person who take a shower with dead dogs and women blood of him, period, and full of lies, suddenly he come with religion and he want to correct Christianity. It's in the front of you. Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. And not only to forget, I mean, the stupidity, imagine, Somebody, he want to prove to you that he is God. How he proved to you that he is God? You meet with him in the street. He says to you, I'm God. You say to him, how you know? How you, how, how, what is the proof that you are God? He said to you, okay, tell me the name of this dog. He said, what? Well, tell me the name of this dog. If you don't believe I am God, tell me the name. The one who can tell the name of this dog is God. You are the one who gave the name to the dog. I mean, can you believe how stupid the story is? Allah, he taught Adam all the names. In the Bible, it says that God, he taught Adam the names of all things. But this is about giving him knowledge. There's no story like this in the Bible. So Muhammad now saying that Allah, he taught Adam all the names of everything. And then he showed those things to the angels to give them a quiz of knowledge. So he put in the front of them potato. He said, what is this? Zakir Naik was one of the angels. He said, but the thitar, let me answer him. This is a story Allah, I do not know. Okay, Zakir Naik, sit down. What about this? He showed him a watermelon. Zakir Naik, the speaker of the house of the angels. But the thitar, let me think to him. Allah, I do not know. So he showed him those things. And now because they do not know the names, 
That is the proof that Allah, he knew what they knew not. Shouldn't be the opposite. Shouldn't be that Allah, he says to them, go and name those things names and don't tell me. And now I will show you that I know what you name them. Correct? I mean, what kind of an exam this exam is? Imagine you go to school and now you have a test and the test saying, give those item names. You name them as you wish and then you pass the test. What kind of a stupidity the stupidity is? So when the angels, they fail to tell Allah the true names of those things because they are liars, they give up. That's it, Allah must be God. And Allah taught Adam the names and Adam, hey Adam, hey potato, tell them the names, huh? show them, show them the miracle. I'm Allah, I taught you the names, show them, show them. They are potato, they do not know the names. And Adam starts saying mayonnaise, ketchup, falafel, hamburger. And this is how Allah proved to the angels that they are a bunch of liars and ignorant. What a stupid donkey story. I mean, even donkey will come with something smarter. They accuse Adam to do mischief, and they were right. Adam, he did mischief, and isn't it Allah kicked him from heaven? Isn't it uh, his children after that, you know, uh, 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 they killed each other? So the fact is the story, the angel accusation is true, and the rejection of Allah is a stupid. And this is why I like it when the Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. People, give me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't text me in Skype if you are Christian. They text me. God bless you, Christian Prince. Thank you, Christian Prince. Why you do that? I mean, everybody in the chat except you, you want to text me in the in the Skype. Why? Are you Jibreel? We open our sky for the Muslims, and then the Christian, they jump. God bless you, Christian Prince. Can I add you, Christian Prince? You want to be special in Skype? Like you are not like, like the public? You are private? Why people do that? I don't know. I always say Skype is open for a Muslim to call me. And then when I get a guy, his name is George. God bless you, Christian Prince. I'm listening to you in YouTube. Thank you very much. You don't disturb me. I mean, this is information. You cannot wait for it. Like you are listening to me in YouTube. Are you serious? How long you thought about it? Did you have a consultant to tell you that? Did you ask your lawyer before you say it? Focus, focus, don't be Abdul. Too many Abdul in this earth. And when we say Christians call, they don't call, and they don't text. Anyway, so as you see, stupidity is amazing, and Islam is nothing but a stupid cult. Does God want to give a test, the quiz of knowledge, to the angels who he accused them to be untruthful? Which means every single angel of Allah is a liar. Can we trust the angels of Allah if Allah himself accusing his angels to be a bunch of a scam? Untruthful. How we can trust the Quran who came from Allah with an angel who is untruthful? Who is the one who gave the Quran to Muhammad? The untruthful angels. Who is the one who transformed the information to Allah, to Allah, to Muhammad? The untruthful angels. Any Abdul? Listen to me, Abdul. If you can refute me, Allah will increase the size of your penis as the Prophet of Allah said, endless. 
and I promise you, if your penis become endless, I will make it my shooting target in the hereafter. I will be in heaven and your penis is flying in the space and doing nothing there. You know, I will get a sniper machine and I will keep making holes in your penis, which is going in the seven galaxies. Endless penis. I mean, how stupidity can be endless more than this? What kind of God he promised us endless penis? Are we going to look for oil over in this space? I mean, what's the point of this endless penis? Why Allah did not say, I will make your brain endless? Why he focused on your penis? Because he's a penis God. Penis come, penis goes. God, Mr. Penis, what he will promise you? Penis. Hey Allah, what do you have in your boxes? Penises. Hmm? Allah is the holy God. What his reward? He will do boom, boom, dahman, dahman, Muhammad said. Which means like this. The sound, you know, like you are hitting so hard. Dahman, dahman, brother. And the Abdul want to go jihad because he want to do dahman. Dahman, brother. Then he promised them that their penis will never go limp. Abdul, the first limp if you is your penis. Number one people in the world who buy Viagra is the Muslims all over the Middle East. Go check it out. They buy Viagra more than food. Your God Allah is not functioning. Actually, your prophet himself could not have babies. Your prophet Muhammad always he shoot blank. You know, when I go training, I buy two kind of bullets. Like if I'm shooting in a uh, in a closed room, I have a, you know, like they have a, a, a less power. So those are for enclosed target practice. When you shoot in the field, long distance, there's a real bullet. So the other bullet is just like, you know, doesn't go far distance. Muhammad, he don't even have a bullet. Blank. 13 wives without washing. And then... They want to convince me that after shooting, shooting a blank 13 women, he could not make one of them have a baby. Why? He was doing sex tourism. And what kind of a pig? He go and have sex with all those women without washing. How much, how, how, what kind of a sexual disease they got from him? Hmm? And the Muslim, they have videos about. The hygiene of the Prophet. There's a guy, his name, Dr. Uh, Sabil. Brothers and sisters, Prophet Muhammad, he was very hygiene. And uh, the Prophet, he can fix everything problem with Corona, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're yeah, right, you know. When you read this, you imagine you are talking about a pig. And I said, the Prophet used to have intercourse with his wives with one single washing. The Prophet used to have intercourse with his wives one after another. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? Is that what Muhammad said to you to show you that he is sponsored by Allah? Is that the sign of a prophethood that his penis is powerful, supposedly? That means donkeys are powerful too. Let us see who can do it more, a donkey or a prophet? A rabbit, maybe. Ah, now we know that rabbits are prophets. One rabbit after the another, non-stop. And this is what makes Muhammad a prophet of God, and he don't even wash. What a pig. You missed one hour? No problem. We can talk to Prophet Muhammad. He is so good in time traveling. 
the summary was exist in the time of Moses. And Mary is the sister of Aaron. So don't worry about it. Talk to Muhammad. He can take you back on time and he can watch from the beginning. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Anyone? I mean, look at the translation, you know, one after another. Thank you very much for telling us. I mean, what the heck is that? The guy, he has 13 wives. He start, why? I mean, are you dying tomorrow, Muhammad, or what happened? And when you are going to pray, when you are going to pray, hey Muslims, if Muhammad, he have 13 wives, and he is doing, and not to mention the slaves, girls too, you know, let us assume that his story is true. So what do you think, Muhammad, and how long the intercourse of Muhammad will take? I mean, don't tell me 10 minutes. I mean, rabbit will take him that, you know. How long? Let us say Muhammad is so fast. You know, he's a, like a technology person, businessman. 20 minutes. So fast. I mean, come on, between taking off your clothes and etc. will take five minutes. So 20 wives... Don't tell me they are lined up next to each other. I mean, do you want it to walk between them, you know, from place to place? Are you, is, is he doing boom, boom, all of them in one room? No way. Brother, no way. Haram. So if each one of them is a 20 minute, and plus, let us say, you know, 10 minute to walk between the houses. He have 13 houses. Okay. So that will make a 30 minute minimum. X 13 wives. 390 minute of effing that is six hours of effing your prophet he start at six in the morning effing his wives he finished at 12. If this is, we assume, only 20 minutes. Is that like a volunteer job or somebody force him? Don't you think maybe the wives, they kidnapped him and they forced him into boom boom? Do you think your prophet Muhammad used to eat cockroaches? When I was in Thailand, I saw a woman you know, sitting in the table, an insect, you know? Insect, they have insect, barbecued insect. I'm serious. She, she said, what the heck is that? I look at her, what is that? You know, they look like cockroaches. She said, sir, boom, 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 boom. This is where I learned the word boom, boom, by the way. Boom, boom. What the heck? Was Muhammad eating cockroaches? So do, so he's so good in the boom, boom. And then we will find in the Quran, somebody making fun of him that he have no penis. And imagine God himself in the seven galaxies. He decided to refute the guy. He said, the one who accused you that your penis is not functioning, he will not have kids. And he the guy, he have tons of kids. What about Allah after all this effing business? Give him babies so can fix it. And when the, the the slave girl she gave a she gave birth, Aisha she told him, "This is not from you. Don't you see? It doesn't even look like you." He's cut off. The guy said to him, hey "Guys, look how big this chapter. Look how big. Three three verses. We granted you the fountain. What is fountain? Al Kawthar is a white water. We are talking about semen." There's a fountain will come. So praise your Lord and sacrifice. Sacrifice for what? What happened? The one who said you are cut off, which means you don't have a penis. And the Muslim, they add from future hope. What a future hope? It says cut off. If you go and read the interpretation, even in the interpretation, they say that they accuse him that he cannot have a children's. Anyway, as you notice, everything in Islam, it must be true. 
and brother, me myself, I cannot wait to convert to Islam and get all those Muslim women in my bed. I will convert to Islam tomorrow, I get four women. Week after, four more women. Week after, four more women. And then by the end of the year, I will have hundreds of babies. And then I convert them all to Christianity. And I will go back a Christian. <laughs> what a stupid religion. And the funny they say to you that somebody leave Islam because he want to have intimacy with more than one woman. Is that why, Lili Dawa? Isn't it your religion is the religion of intimacy with many women in the same time? The religion of intimacy. What intimacy? The religion of fallacy. Satanic. Garbage in, garbage out. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Last call, last call. You see, if you call me, Allah will increase the size of your penis, but it's given to be funny. He will never promise you to increase the size of your balls. So imagine your penis became so long and then your balls is still the same size. They will look like a bing bong balls next to your penis. I mean, that would be funny. So imagine like your penis going in this and then your balls is so small. Abdul, where's your balls? Shouldn't Allah promise you both like, you know, like to make a harmony between the penis and the balls. By the way, what about your ass? So now your penis is endless. Your ass will stay small. You will look so funny, stupid, man. So your penis is so long and your ass is so small. And your wife, she look at you, she says, SubhanAllah, his penis is so long and he is so short. What the heck? Did he increase your size to endless too or just the penis? I mean, how you can walk with it, by the way? Are you going to walk backward? You cannot walk forward. Me, it's endless. How you even can carry it? I advise you to buy some like wheels or something, you know, like put it on the top of it in the wheels and let it expand, you know, like put two wheels in the end of it, in the tip of it, and like two wheels in every like 20 meter, and then like train, you know, like they keep going, you know, like in the space. I'm telling you, Islam is, uh, is the best. Forget about the rest. If, if, if you want to have something very... Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. May Allah plus your penis as Muslims, even if you don't have one. I mean, I'm losing nothing. Allah bless nobody. So when I say to you, may Allah bless you, I gave you no blessing. Allah bless who? Huh? I mean, look, look how blessed you are in Islamic Muslim countries. With all the oil you have, still you are poor. With all the oil you have, when I say poor, I mean poor with ethic, corruption. You see the Muslim, they talk about the infidels, the pagan, you know, and go, go to the Middle East, go to Pakistan, go, go to Saudi Arabia, go, go to Syria, go to Iraq, go to Jordan, go to Emirat, go and see the corruption and the theft and, and what kind of human being have no value because there is no just and no, ju no, they are corrupt to the bones. And then they speak about corruption. Women, she can't walk in the street alone without guardian. She will be kidnapped. She will be raped because they are so ethical in the Middle East and in Islamic countries. Not like those kuffar. I just saw a video. Uh, I see the icon. Mimi Hijab said, uh, there's a title that says, a proof of afterlife. Abdul uh, Muhammad Hijab, the proof of afterlife. What about your proof to us that the grave, in the grave, a snake with 99 head will go inside your anus? I mean, don't go to afterlife. A person, you just put him in the grave. What about you tell us about the punishment of the grave? Mimi Hijab, when I prove to you, the proof of afterlife. Yeah, we saw that the proof from Muhammad. He said, the prophet body will not decay. And then three days after he stink. We know, we believe in the life after death. But 99 dragons going inside your anus. Don't you think this is too much?
I mean, what about 1998? I mean, why not? Allah 99 names. Uh, the arguments are 99 and they will go inside your anus. This is why Muslim Sunni, when they die, they put a piece of cotton in their in, uh, anus and they push it hard with the piece of a stick. You know, like those pieces, they, they use them for like the wood, they use it for the bathroom. You know, if you have like a, some something stuck in your sink, something. You know, so they push a piece of cotton in your anus, and, you know, yeah. And not only that, actually, the Quran speak about sexual uh, penalty for those who don't accept Allah or they are Muslims, who they are not good Muslims. Allah will order the angels To insert inside the anus a long, long, long barbecue, shish kebab, uh, you know, tube. And Allah will line up all those people in that barbecue. And this is will go from your anus. Actually, it will go from your anus and will come out from your nose. I'm, I'm telling you, this is true. In the Quran. I'm sure the Muslims, they will say, it doesn't say that, CP. We can show you. Even the Quran measure the size of the of the chain, but the Muslim they have their own size. But even the Quran mention how big it is, but the Muslim they have different size because this is the arm of Allah and the size of the arm of Allah, not our arm. And look, the miracle here, I see something very miracle, miraculous. This is about inserting something in the anus coming down from your nose, and it is chapter sixty nine. Subhanallah. Subhanas, you know, just smash Allah. 69. Furthermore, make him march in a chain. What the heck does that mean? The length of it is 70 cubit. What the heck? You go and read the interpretation, you will die laughing. You literally, you will die laughing. Go open Ibn Kathir or read the interpretation. Every ring of the chain have more more iron than all the iron in the world. All of this seventy. This is one 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 ring of the chain. Have more than all the iron in the world. Are you serious? Yes, brother. Yes, sixty nine thirty two. I mean, how the anus of a human being is so small. And then you will insert this chain inside his anus. I mean, don't you think this is too much, brother? This is the point. Allah will torture him. Okay. But is this not torture? I mean, it's not going... It's not, uh, the, the person will be ripped off if one ring have more than the size of all the iron in the world. How is going to fit inside an anus of a person is like half inch or one inch? Miracle, brother. Miracle. Miracle, miracle. Here, this is Ibn Kathir, it says. You can open it yourself, you can check it out. The chain in the anus, subhanas, so, you know, the God or the God of Islam. And look, 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 he described for you the chain. He says, Bladar, this uh, chain will enter into his buttocks. Really, brother? Yes, yes, brother. Allah, he said, then fast in him, it will enter into his buttocks, the God of buttocks, and will pull out of his mouth. You guys, you want to watch horror, horror movie? He will enter it in his buttocks and will be pulled out from his mouth. And this is the punishment of Allah. Are you sure your God is not a, like something sexually perverted? I mean, what the heck is that? 
and then they will arrange on this chain just like loctos oh barbecue time or arrange on a stick and being roasted and now they describe for you look 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 it will run from his behind you see the muslim trying to be polite in the translation what behind it can be abdul what behind is it what it says in arabic behind what the heck you must not trying to be polite in english why you don't say it as it is from his behind i mean the guy before you a second ago he said buttocks at least this one is more close to the truth what behind behind doors what the heck is that so we'll run into his behind until it is brought out of his two nostril that's so deep you know and then they describe for you uh, uh, the size of the iron you know oh boy brother if a drop of lead of this which means this is a chain will be pointed to the scale bone skull bone were sent from the heaven to the earth it's a distance of 500 year travel brother Eww. Look how big this one drop of this chain will reach the earth before night. 500 years of travel will reach the earth before night. I mean, who's a stupid here? So, 500 year travel. I mean, who is the traveling here? The drop of lead or you? The Muslim, they have a good measurement for speed. Scientifically, as measurement and then here it says this this lid is coming from hell we were sent from the head of the chain of hell it would travel 40 full season mean night and day not non-stop from the space brother okay and then here it says where is the where is this where is the iron where is the iron i want to see the iron i don't see the iron it must be there don't tell me you took it off ah here we go brother what is the size of the chain kabul ahbar said Every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of iron found in this world. Eh, only. All of this, just a ring, will go inside a human being anus. Oh boy. I cannot even speak about Islam without... And the Muslim, by the way, they said to me, Christian Prince, why always you speak about dirty stuff? Abdul, I'm quoting your stupid books. I mean, you quote for them their stupid books, they accuse you that you are the one being dirty. Like Mimi Hijab, he said, did you say to her, suckle me? I, I, was, I said to him, I was quoting your filthy prophet. Hang up on him, hang up on him, bester, bester. You see? I was quoting your stupid prophet. Why are you upset? Suckle me. Suckle me. I'm thirsty. Allah, he sent verses ordering Muslim women to suckle adult men. Well, I am adult and men. I have all the qualification and I am thirsty. There is no Pepsi. There is no milk. There is nothing in my fridge. Ten times. What a nice town. You live in a Muslim town. Every day you go to a new house and you go and you like, you find a woman, she look good, huh? Be careful. And like, yeah, be sure that she is satisfying for you. Mm. Yeah. And then you say to her, uh, suckle me, sister, suckle me. Prophet of Allah, he says, you should suckle me, you know? And then you practice suckling and uh, that's it. You are going to go to heaven, you and her. You know, you are suckling nation. We suckle each other. You know, be open-minded. If a, if you enter your home and you find a man sitting in your wife's lap, sucking her boobs, don't be upset. 
she is following the Islamic Sharia law. Secondly, and if you find a, a man doing boom boom to your wife, no, don't be upset. Ask him if he can stay more so you can find for witnesses. Isn't it, this is beautiful, really? Look how open minded they are. He go inside the house, Abdul. Muhammad Hijab, he entered the house. He found, I don't want to talk about somebody's wife. Forget about Muhammad Hijab. A Muslim, he entered his house. And he found somebody in his house, boom, boom, his wife. He said to the Prophet, 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 listen, Prophet, are you saying I should ask the one who is doing boom, boom to the wife to wait? He said, Prophet, he said, yes. <laughs> Guys, don't you think that Prophet Muhammad is the most wise? Wait, brother, can you wait, please? I need to go and find four witnesses. So this guy, he have his wife is the bicycle of the town. Everybody knows. Now he have a problem. Muhammad, he come with a new law that you have to have four witnesses and the four they have to see the penis going in and out. And now he do not know what to do. I mean, his wife, she is screwing everybody. He go inside the house, he find her naked with the man. He cannot do anything. So he said to the prophet, so prophet, let me understand. So are you saying... If I go inside the house and I find my wife with the guy, I will ask him to spend more time until I bring four witnesses? He said, yes. What a beautiful religion. And now you bring four witnesses, by the way. Still, if they did not see the penis of the man going in and out, they saw nothing. So, excuse my language. If your wife, she have a sex in a position where you cannot see it, like she's wearing her skirt, let us say, that's it. You have no proof. Even if you have a thousand witnesses, you have to see the penis going on. I mean, Muhammad is so... All of this because he was protecting Aisha from the accusation where people, they accuse her that she had sex with the guy. His name is Safwan. You go inside the house, you find your wife naked. She is in the top of somebody, or he is in the top of her. Uh, brother, assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum assalam, brother. Sorry, we are busy. You know, well, who are you? I'm the husband. Oh, okay, uh, what do you want? I'm the husband, man. Okay, don't you see what we are doing? Okay, but this is my wife. Okay, Abdul, do you have four wives? Do you have four witnesses? No, I don't have four witnesses. Okay, go get lost. Go, huh? find four witnesses and come back. No, you have no, yeah, yeah. And the prophet, he said to him, yes. Look at the wisdom. Look at the wiz and the dumb. Anyway, enough wisdom for today. Too much wisdom will kill you. I want to say thank you for being here. And I want to say thank you for the one who is not being here. For the wisdom of Allah is everywhere. Prophet Muhammad is the wisdom of Allah can be take my wisdom of Allah with me in the bathroom? No, haram. Can I take the Quran with me in the bathroom? Haram. Okay, but I memorize the Quran. My head. Should I leave my head outside? <laughs> you cannot take the Quran with you in the bathroom. What would happen exactly? I mean, what exactly? What the heck is that? Haram. Can you put the Quran in the bed? You are having sex with your wife. Haram. No, actually, this one you can do it. I mean, Aisha she used to touch Muhammad, and Muhammad he used to tickle her when he's praying between her legs. Oh boy. Anyway, time to go. And for you, it's time to stay and to watch from the beginning. And uh, if you are a Muslim, brother, the virgins are waiting. But just to pray that Prophet Muhammad will not arrive there before you. Because if he arrive there based on your stories, he will F them all. And none of them will be virgin. They will be used. You got busted. What a virgin religion. God was making virgin. And not only that, Allah will take him 1,000 years to smooth the skin of each one of them. Muhammadan, is she a female or an alligator? I mean, why taking Allah 1,000 years to smooth the skin of each one? 
I mean, don't you say that if Allah want to do something, he say B is going to be. So it's going to take him 1,000 years just to make her skin smooth. Your God, he never heard of something called Vaseline. I mean, what kind of a skin is that a skin? Today they have machines, they can make rocks, marble so smooth in less than five minutes. 1,000 years to make the skin of the virgin soft. What the name of this uh, guy's, this, uh, this lazy, lazy animal? He looked like a bear. What did we call him? Not the bear. You know, he's, he climbed the trees. What they call him? Anyone remember the name of this uh, creature? He have like long, long names. He is so slow when he move, you know. I mean, is that Allah? 1,000 year? And then they say to you, Allah, if you want to say something, he want to do something, he said to it be, and it was. Sloth? Koala? Koala? Koala. Uh, koala, hold on. I know some they are saying sloth. Let's see who is the sloth and who is the koala. Yeah, yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. He's good looking, by the way. He looked like Prophet Muhammad before the makeup. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, you know, at least this, this, this animal, he harmed like, harm nobody. Look, look, look. Allah took him 1,000 years. I mean, this guy will take him faster time. What 1,000 years? 1,000 years. Look, look at this. How cute. <laughs> happy, happy. <laughs> Muslims, they don't look happy. They are always upset. Look at this animal. You know, he is happy. Honestly, he's happy. He has a happy face. Look at him. <laughs> You look at the Muhammadan, he is so upset. He's so angry. Kuffar, infidel, pork, music, haram, cartoon, takbir, Allahu Akbar, and his balls are exploded. And then they go home, they watch in satellite porn and Android Tits station. Hey, by the way, Muslims. I think now you should have a free access, you know, access to Andrew Tate's station. I mean, come on, he's a Muslim. At least he should give you a discount. Hello, is your holy brother now? Have fun. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. See you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Take care.